AI experts like Jeffrey Hinton, Joshua Bengio, and public figures like Sam Altman have con- expressed their concern about AI risk. Mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal risk, scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. What this statement is saying is that basically your nuclear war and pandemics, which all of us almost know that are big societal risk, it can wipe out humanity. And we saw what happened in COVID and we have seen nuclear war in the past. What they are saying is that as like this, mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority. And that is a statement on AI risk. AI experts and public figures have expressed as a concern. And this is a group center for AI safety. S-A-F-E dot AI is trying to mitigate. This has got all these um, signatories. AI scientists, notable AI figures. If you look at just the scientists, you've got Jeffrey Hinton, Joshua Bengio, Demis Hassabis, who's the CEO of DeepMind. You've got the CEO of uh, Anthropic Dario, and you've got like a lot of professors and um, you've got Ilya, who is quite famous, popular, co-founder and chief scientist of OpenAI. And you just go in the list and you see a lot of familiar names. Peter Norvig, some, somebody like I respect a lot. Jan Goodfellow. You, you, you see a lot of popular names. Um, Lex Friedman, of course, Lex Friedman is there. Why wouldn't you be there? So you, you see a lot of popular names. Cool. Now, when you go into the notable figures, you can see the notable figures starts with Sam Altman. That's no surprise given what Sam Altman spoke in um, or after what he spoke in the US, um, like in front of US Congress, like his statement. And you have got also interesting names uh, from different corporate side, Anthropic, Google DeepMind, OpenAI, uh, Stability AI, Imad Mustak, Inflection AI, Mustafa Suleiman from where we got by my, you know, the personal assistant video, Kevin Scott, Microsoft, and you've got all these, all these companies. You know what's the name missing? It's, there is an interesting name that is missing. I don't know if you noticed. There is no, um, you, you can see the Microsoft here and uh, there is no Apple probably. And there is no Meta. In fact, it's not just Meta is not there. In fact, one of the three godfathers of AI, usually they are called together, Jeffrey Hinton, Joshua Bengio, Jan Likun. So Jan Likun's name is not here. I'm not trying to say, you know, you know, Meta is uh, trying to avoid this statement, but probably Jan Likun is thinking that this is an overstatement. I'm not sure what is he thinking, but what this entire statement on AI risk is about AI experts and journalists, policymakers and public are increasingly discussing a broad spectrum of important or urgent risks from AI. Even so, it can be difficult to voice the concerns about some of the advanced AI's most severe risk. The succinct statement below aims to overcome this obstacle and open up discussion. It is also meant to create common knowledge of the growing number of experts, public figures who also take some of the advanced AI's most severe risks seriously. What's surprising for me here is I'm not sure how much of vested interest that is available here. I strongly believe that not all of these people are writing this because um, they want to stop others from making money and they want to make money. I don't, I, I don't, I don't uh, like personally believe that that is the reason why these people have signed. Maybe this is the case with some of them here. It could be, you know, you never know what is a vested interest human beings have got and what is their skin in the game. But the point here is that you don't see Elon Musk here. You don't see uh, Jan Likun here. And uh, you see people who are like really petrified. Like um, Jeffrey Hinton mentioned that Jeffrey Hinton left the job because he wanted to speak broadly or openly about AI risk. I can understand. Sam Altman, you have got ChatGPT, you've got GPT-4, you've got all these business solutions that are available today. And then we are talking about the risk of extinction from AI. Um, and uh, there is a very popular clip from Sam Altman recently talking to a bunch of students in Germany and mentioning that they are not probably going to 
open source GPT-5, GPT-4, GPT-5. I'm, I'm curious, if we stay on the same like GPT-2 to 3 to 4 trajectory for 5 and 6, how many of you would like us to open source GPT-6 the day we finish training it? <laughs> wow. Well, we're not going to do that, but that's interesting data. <laughs> <laughs> So do you see the gap of the open source to these big closed ones to close somewhat or to open up more? Uh, I think what will happen is the frontier will, will not be open sourced right away. Um, and that will give us time to figure out what we need to mitigate, what the safety issues are. Um, but the open source lag will not be that much. And you know, a few years later, once we know kind of what the limits are and how to make it safe, there will be very good open source models. But my sense is that lag time is probably something we are going to want more and more. We'll be happier and happier to have that over time. Technology is just different. Um, however, I think nuclear materials and AI supercomputers do have some similarities. And this is a place where we can draw more than usual parallels and inspiration. But I would caution people to, to overlearn the lessons of the last thing. Um, Whatever that is, because they believe that if you open source the solution, then it's like nuclear energy or something like you don't, you don't necessarily open source nuclear solution. So it's so like he's equating with that. Uh, I mean, I honestly don't know what to say. Um, it's a, uh, is it an overstatement? I mean, like underestimating this stuff. I definitely believe that AI will take away jobs. I, I, there is no second doubt about it. I mean, it's going to have an economical impact, but AI is going to or is there a possibility of extinction of human beings due to AI? This is like Skynet level stuff. Like it, this is like literally you've got the script of Transformers movie and uh, I'm not sure what is the case with that. I wanted to just make this video to hear from you all. What do you think about it? This is something that we have discussed a lot in this video or uh, in this channel. If you want to sign this statement, you can go here and mention your name your work email, your affiliation title, and you know, you can say, Oh, you are a notable figure or you are an AI scientist and you can submit it. You can see the signatories, you can see the statement and you can contribute to it. But more than that, if you're watching this video on this channel, please drop a comment and then say, what do you think about it? Like, what do you think about AI risk? I would like to actually hear from you what you as a human being feel about all the AI advancements. And do you really think like human extinction is something that AI can do given the current nature and all the movies that you have seen? Hopefully we have some uh, interesting discussions from these kind of things, but um, otherwise we'll see you in another video. Happy prompting.